In this video, I'm going to share with you an update from the RSA on the driving test application process. This update is valid up to and including autumn 2021. So first of all, driving tests will be offered in the following order. Number one, essential workers who've previously applied and are eligible for the test. Next on the order of preference are customers who have had to cancel a driving test due to the restrictions. And number three, anybody else based on their eligibility and their date. The date in which they applied is going to reflect their position in the queue. So the earlier you applied, the more likely you are to get a test date sooner. Once the system reaches a customer's place in the queue, an email with a booking invite will be sent to the driving test candidate. They then have 10 days to book or they will be removed from the invitational list. You can complete a request to be re-added to the invitational list if you don't book within the 10 days. The customer will be sent a link to be re-added and once this is completed properly and fully, you are then back in the invitational queue. Fast track retests are also being put in place for customers who recently failed. So instead of going to the start of the queue, they will be invited to rebook another driving test six to eight weeks after they reapply. So they have to reapply first and then they can expect to be waiting about six or eight weeks, depending on the list, uh, in order to get their driving test date. If this is not enough time or the date is unsuitable, they can complete a request form to be readmitted to the invitational queue at a later time. In the near future, the RSA hope to introduce a car waiting time tool. This is a new tool for estimating the waiting time for invitations to be sent out for a driving test. So people will be able to get a good idea of when they can expect to get a driving test date. There's also a new form for emergency driving test requests at the moment, and I leave a link for this in the description. This uh, clearly distinguishes between emergency frontline workers and essential workers. So if you are a critical frontline worker, make sure you fill out this form and the RSA will do their best to give you a quicker driving test date. Once you turn up for your driving test, the driving testers will ask you the following questions. Have you or your accompanied driver arrived from any other country in the last 14 days? If the answer is no, then the test proceeds. If yes, the tester will follow up with another question. Have you or your accompanying driver been asked to cocoon, self-isolate or restrict your movements in the last 14 days? If the answer is no, then the test proceeds. If the answer is yes, there will be no test. The driving testers used to ask if you were an essential worker, but they don't ask this question anymore. It's not the driving tester's job to seek personal information from you about your job or about your occupation. In the description, I will leave links on the site you can go to to apply for your driving test. I'll also leave links for information on driver eligibility for the driving test. And if you would like to check out the emergency form for critical frontline workers who are seeking to do a driving test. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment in the comment section if you have any questions or if you would like to share your own thoughts and experiences about the driving test. So I hope to see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.